sort of good Jira. welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be doing a couple things first off as you see right in front of me is Titanus Ghidorah 2019 from SH Monster Arts yes I got him a couple days ago on Friday Thursday Thursday and uh, I've been messing with him a lot just checking out his articulation seeing how good he is things like that I did discover there are a couple loose joints I can't point them out because I super glued them to make sure that uh, he wouldn't keep falling apart but I do know his heads are a very big issue um, his tails his feet this wing or this one right here that one has a big problem staying on so I glued that one on this one is fine it's very sturdy stays in doesn't really come out as you can probably already see with the tails I custom painted the spikes on them silver to be more movie accurate because I wasn't a fan of how they didn't paint the uh, the tails properly so first off I'm gonna go over his box because that's probably the biggest thing of this video hold on let me uh let me get this giant dude out of here also recently we reached a milestone on the channel um 560 subscribers and uh i just want to say thanks a lot everybody for your support for subscribing and watching my videos i really appreciate it it means a lot i uh i really enjoy interacting with my community here and there i'm thinking about doing a giveaway at some point maybe at like i know it's a long time but maybe at like a thousand subscribers or maybe 600 something like that I think I might be giving away some Robux or something like that since Roblox is like the main thing I do anyways so for the box you have a really really nice image of Ghidorah right here you have the 1954 to 2019 65 year anniversary thing Toho legendary pictures the Tamashi Nations quality sticker Tamashi Nations sticker, Bandai sticker, stuff you normally see. Monster Verse up at the top. Then on this side, you just have a continuation of what was on the front of the box with Ghidorah, his name, Monster Verse. Nothing all too special there. Over here, you have the continuation of the plastic opening. It's for you to see his heads. Really, another really nice looking shot of. Ghidora and his name SH Monster Arts at the top you have again his name SH Monster Arts and then on the back you have some really nice looking image some really nice posed images um no his feet do not curl back like that his legs his hip joints are very stiff they don't want to move without coming off this is possible him standing up like that by himself it's possible I've done it before this is also possible the stands are really only needed if you're gonna lean him forward if you're gonna lean him standing straight up or lean him backwards a bit then you don't need the stands this one this pose right here I really like it only thing is the middle head his jaw does not open as wide as they say it does anyways enough with the box time to move on <laughs> I didn't throw that time to move on to the figure itself the giant Ghidorah 2019 so I'm just gonna start this off with a size comparison to show you guys that this guy is insanely huge like first off look at the wing compared to my hand right it's big and then you have Godzilla 2021 Ghidorah is nearly two times the size 
of Godzilla, which I find that crazy. It's really cool. Um, excuse me. May or may not have burped. And you have him beside Shin. Shin is big because he's bigger than 2021 for whatever reason. From what I heard, SH Wasa Art said that each series has their own size thing. So, like the MonsterVerse, all their kaiju size up accurately. The Shin Godzilla figure size up accurately, that sort of thing. I don't know how true that is. It. I would rather them just make them all accurate to each other. Like, Shin is actually smaller than 2021 by a little bit, but not by much, but by a decent amount. And then we have Godzilla 2021 and Kong 2021 beside Ghidorah. Kong is half the size of Ghidorah, easily, because you look at it, and he only comes up to, like, the base of his necks, and his necks make up half of his body. He, especially when they're facing straight up. I'll show you. Actually, let me show you right now. Oh, might have hit the mic just then. See, look at that. So, yeah, Ghidorah is just massive compared to Kong and Godzilla. Also, my brother is here again today. He's probably going to be here for every single review video I do because he's just cool. And he's my brother, so... Say hello. Hello. There. You know he's here. He's always watching. Anyways, enough of that. Um. So, as far as the articulation goes for Ghidorah, it's decent. The leg, like I said, the legs are probably one of the main issues with him, with the way this leg really likes to come off. He makes a lot of noise. Which I don't like that at all. His necks are completely articulated. It has like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteen. So, including the head, the neck has thirteen joints of articulation. Which, if you ask me, that's a lot for any SH Monster Arts figure. Another thing I'm going to point out is if you get your Ghidorah and you see this little chipped horn right here that's actually not chipped that's supposed to be one of the differences for the three heads like for here you have what people refer to as Kevin and his horns are bent and misshapen on the right side don't know why they did it like that I don't think that's accurate to the movie but it's whatever I don't know what this one's name is, but he's battle damaged. He's got a chipped horn, a slightly shorter horn. Makes him look a lot more menacing. Also, their jaws can open and close to an extent. Kevin and the left head are the only ones who can open their jaws fully for mine. I don't know about everybody else's. But the middle head can only open up about that much, which is like half the amount of the others which is kind of disappointing but it's all right it's very weird the middle head has more per perfected horns that look that resemble the movie a little bit better i'm gonna go ahead and say it right out um this Ghidorah isn't accurate it's awesome it looks cool it's big but i'm gonna go ahead and say it his legs they're too skinny for the movie. His body, pretty sure it wasn't that thin down at the lower torso. Um, his necks weren't that long. So, I mean, they did it so Ghidorah could wrap around Godzilla and stuff. But, if you're, if you're looking for accuracy, then there's probably no Ghidorah out there for you. Even the lower quality ones... They, they're not even the right um, sculpt model thing, so it, it, there's no really accurate Ghidorah, but if you're going to go for one, I do suggest the SH. It looks really nice. I mean, the detail is very good. Articulation's pretty good. Um, the only issue I have is the wings. 
that's about as much as you get out of it. You don't get very much play out of them at all. Which, it kind of sucks, because I, I almost wish that they came with interchangeable wings. Like, I, I know that would probably increase the price, and it would also probably make the box a little too big, but I wish they came with wings that was opened, and I wish they came with two, three different sets of wings. These wings for the Alpha Call, another set of wings so it could like knuckle walk like he did in the movie, and another set of wings where you could pick the wings like up, like make them open up. Maybe it could just be two sets of wings where the knuckle walk, you could pick the arms up to make the wings open up or something. Because with these, you, you don't get a lot out of them at all. They're, they're just really, really stiff. And apparently people say they're fragile. I mean, they're pretty thick. I mean, look at that. Compared to my thumb. They're pretty thick. So, like, I don't know. Anyways, on the back here, we have the tails, completely articulated, just like the heads. You can do the little rattle thing that he does. Um, on the back, you have the spikes from it that line down his neck. I don't know why, but they gave the middle head two sets, of, two rows of spikes. Uh, and <laughs> they gave him two rows of spikes on the neck, but then when you get down to the back, it changes back into one line of spikes all the way down to his tails. I, I don't know why they did that, but it's still a pretty cool detail. And just keep in mind, if you get this guy, he is sharp. Like, I I cut my finger messing with him. His wing cut me. He, he's, he is very sharp on the edges. So I do suggest be very careful with this guy because... He will hurt you in a heartbeat if you are not careful. Anyways, that's about it for the figure itself. I mean, the paint job is pretty good, but I do wish they hadn't... Oop, I didn't mean to hit the camera. See, I'm telling you guys, he's big. Um, One thing I wish they hadn't done is... Here, let me cover up the light so you can actually see that's not shade. Um, The wings... Oh, excuse me again. It's like they tried to add shading to it, even if the light is, like, directly on it, so it looks a little weird, but, I mean, it is what it is. It looks pretty good. I just, I'm not a huge fan of this area right here, how it looks like. It makes it look like Godzilla just took his tail and, like, laid it across his gut and, like, broke ribs and stuff. So I, I don't really like that part of it, but all in all, the figure's pretty good. I don't think it's worth the price. I mean, it's awesome. I love it. It's like my second favorite SH Monster Arts figure, but for the current price, I feel like it's a bit insane, especially when you consider the fact that it was $180 US dollars when it first came out, and now it's like selling for $400. I think that's a bit crazy, but that's just me. If you're collecting them like I am, then eventually it'll probably be worth it because at someday I'm sure it'll be worth like a thousand dollars or something crazy. But that's not why I collect them. I collect them just because I really like them. Talking about the SH Monster Arts. Um, for accessories, he doesn't come with the gravity beams, which again a hundred eighty dollars when he came out four hundred dollars nowadays he really should have come with the gravity beams because it just he's big and all but when you consider Godzilla 2021 I'm just gonna use him as a comparison it was 70 bucks I think when he came out like between 70 and a hundred bucks when he came out and Ghidorah was a hundred eighty that's like over two times the price and Godzilla didn't even come with uh, a beam so a figure that while it is yes two times the size of Godzilla they still should have given it at least one accessory 
like, besides the stands, like, they should have given him beams or something. Like, even the original Godzilla 2019 was cheaper than this guy and came with an atomic breath. And I really feel like he should have come with the atomic breath. Or gravity beams. That's just me. Anyways, as far as accessories go, you have a little, um, pelvis stand. I guess that's what, I don't know what you call it. It goes there to hold him up at the crotch area, I guess. Maybe maybe it's supposed to be bigger and it's supposed to hold him up by the chest. I don't know. I haven't figured it out. It, I've realized that that one's pretty useless because he's so tall that you don't you don't even um you don't even uh it it, it doesn't fit. He's so tall that it doesn't even touch him. Anyways, you have the wing stands, which are on a ball, a bit of a ball joint. It lets you rotate it around to let you get different poses and stuff. Um, clips in his wing on his wing. It doesn't actually clip. It kind of it's just there for support. It doesn't hold it. It gravity. Gravity does its thing for this figure. See, so look. It looks like he's about to fall. He won't. Watch, he's gonna fall. <laughs> um. So for size comparison, another winged kaiju would be Rathalos. Rathalos, however you say his name. And we all know he's pretty big. Um. Yeah. Kedora dwarfs Roth Rathalos. 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 <laughs> he dwarfs him. He makes him look like a little midget. And the wingspan isn't even close to the same. It probably looks the same because of the angle that it's on. Let me pick up his head and get this right. Move his tail to the side. Massive tail. Unnecessarily huge tail. And his toe broke off. That's cute. Anyways, yeah, you look at that. The angle. I can't get this right, guys, but just so you know, Rathalos, his wingspan is not even close to Ghidorah's. His height is not even close to Ghidorah's. He's very small compared to him. So, I mean, all in all, Ghidorah's a good figure. I do feel like there could have been a couple things they do they did better, like a little more accuracy. Painting the tail spikes, because I had to do that on my own. I made them silver because, like I said earlier in the movie, they were silver, but I feel like SH Monster Art should have done that on their own. I feel like they should have painted his nails a more noticeable color. I feel like... I just feel like there was a couple things they could have done a lot better. But all in all, it's a good figure. The articulation's great. The paint job's pretty good. I mean... If you got it when you first came out, you got what you paid for. Nowadays, it kind of seems like you're overpaying, but it is what it is. I also want to point out how his necks are that much bigger than the bootlegs. Bootleg King Ghidorah 2019. That's literally just the Showa Ghidorah. But... Whoa. Yeah. His head... His head alone is like, yeah, it, it's it's big. He's way bigger. But here's Ghidorah. I'm going to go ahead and say it right out. I'm pretty sure this is not accurate because it's not by SH Monster Arts, so why would they make it accurate? Um, here is R NECA Rodan <laughs> beside Ghidorah 2019. I'm pretty sure that's not accurate. I'm pretty sure Rodan is more like... His wingspan's more like this. I'm, I'm pretty sure his wings are a lot bigger. But, I mean, like I said, they're not going to make it accurate because it's not by them. So, therefore, they shouldn't... They shouldn't have to make it accurate to another company. It would have been nice because the NECA... Rodan, if you ask me, is better than the SH Rodan. Only thing I wish they had done is given NECA an, an articulated head with the jaw and stuff. But, I mean, for 20 bucks, it's not that bad. 
what was 20 bucks Rodan's worth about $80 nowadays um so yeah anyways I think that's about it for today's video oh another thing before I go I would like to say guess what you won't guess it I pre-ordered Godzilla Ultima yes the giant new well I can't say he's giant but he's he's definitely big I mean he's six and a half inches tall Ghidorah's nine inches I keep forgetting to go to the website and check how big uh, Godzilla 2021 is I think Ultima is slightly bigger than 2021 I know his tail is longer Ultima's tail is longer than Ghidorah is tall and it's longer than Shin's tail to give you an idea Shin's tail is almost as long as Ghidorah is wide so he's gonna be longer than Ghidorah nah he's not the tail isn't much longer it's only like that much longer it's not much but it's it's definitely longer and I'm very excited for him Godzilla Ultima is definitely like my new favorite Godzilla design the anime the story was kinda eh but the designs for the kaiju with Godzilla Ultima, Aquatillus, Larunga, Rodan, and Giris. I, I really liked all of them. Manda. Manda was definitely one of my favorite changes. I but just yeah. wish he didn't die so quickly. Who, and Giris? No. Well, him and Manda. Yeah. Manda, there were multiple Mandas, but Godzilla Aquatillus, yeah. I probably bit shouldn't be saying this because it's a little spoilery, so I'm just going to stop while I'm ahead. That way you guys can go and see it for yourself. Once the movie or show has been out for a couple months, I'll probably talk some more about it because I'm very excited for the SH Monster Arts Godzilla Ultima. I almost got Special Color by Alante, but I, I, what? I, I don't know. It, it was cool, but at the same time, I wasn't sure. And then I almost got Great Decisive Battle Guy again, but he doesn't come out for another few months, and I just didn't feel like waiting that long. So I, I got my second favorite uh, SH Monster Arts figure, Ghidorah. He's really nice. I like him. The next, my first favorite is got is uh, Destaroya. I really like him, but he's just like Ghidorah. He's just super expensive to where it doesn't even make any sense. I can't wait for Mechagodzilla 2021 to come out, but I will say it's kind of... I find it really weird how they decided to release Mechagodzilla almost a full year after Godzilla and Kong. Like, why on earth would they wait so long? It doesn't make any sense to me. But anyways... I think that wraps it up for this video. Again, I just want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed. I really appreciate it. It means a lot that you guys enjoy watching my content. And if you guys want more videos of like figure reviews, I can review my old figures like my Shin Godzilla, um, fi uh, Millennium Godzilla, Godzilla Tokyo SOS, Godzilla Earth those guys if you want I can make specific videos for them just let me know in the comments if that's what you guys want to see and I will definitely make videos for them also if you want more intros for videos like this one then let me know about that too because this it's a new idea I'm playing with and I think stop-motion intros for kaiju is a pretty neat idea it's something I really like it's kind of based off the Geek Chess little intro skits, kind of, not really. It It's going to, you guys saw it. I think you guys will like it. And if you do, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.